This is a Thor News presentation. Hey, if you don't shut up, I shall fireball, fireball your face. Thor News presents. Like a fireball, you just don't stop. Like a big balloon waiting to pop. Okay, so as I finished up with my Beast Asteroid video, I was checking out spaceweather.com, which I always do because I'm an obsessive dork. Thorough. Due diligence. And there were 64 fireballs yesterday, June 5th. I was like, WTF is going on. Because that is an error one way or another. Because the chart they had sure as heck didn't look like 64. But I don't ever remember seeing 64 sporiatics. Which means they shoot spores. Just like that one awesome video game I never played but I always heard about. Spore. So maybe the guy punched in a six or four or punched in a mistake or put up the wrong photographs. But I'm just curious. What is the record fireballs on the all fireball sky network? Cause I ain't ever seen 64 before. So the debunking trollers, when I say this is a major uptick, hey, it's a major uptick. But I welcome you to pull some data out of your ass and then dance around like you're correct. But today there were five. I don't know. And yes, I notice all this comet fireball meteorite asteroid stuff. It's like a uh, people hand you a piece of paper like, yeah, okay. This is what the deal is. You just have to take their word for it. Man, these just aren't the best days to be taking people's word for it now, are they? Anywho, so if anybody knows, I'd like to hear more. Especially you guys who always stick sporks in my butt whenever I make a mistake. Or I use an adjective or adverb you don't think is appropriate. But then I want to remind you guys, you guys are science guys. And I'm a writer guy. So, where I admit, I'm not the smartest astronomer on the planet. You guys never admit, sometimes the shit you say is stupid. And I, I mean, I, you st I still gotta ask. How come we never get good photographs of asteroids? Like, ever. You know? I mean, a lot of them fly close by, like a mile or two. I mean, I'm sorry. Lunar distance or two. And we always get these, like, 1940s Ed Wood photos. So it's a pretty simple video. Will this be a trend? Is all the data bullshit? When did Fireball overtake Patron as the shot to order at a bar? Okay, I gotta tell you. I'm pretty confused. Like we now are in a society where for whatever reason, the president and Congress are basically dismantling NASA. They're pretty much like the only department in all of government whose budget is receding. And then you've got all the astronomers and the astronomer publications pushing for climate change regulation. And they seem either totally okay or totally complicit with our own governments totally ignoring asteroids as a potential threat in the future. Some people might be like, well, even if we figured out an asteroid's gonna hit us, what could you do? You could do a lot of shit, man. Like, haven't you studied the history of Earth? We can basically do whatever we want. We just have to figure out how to reverse engineer our dreams. And it's almost like politicians are like, nah, we've seen the data. and It's all bullshit, man. We don't need to spend any money on NASA. We don't need to spend any money on protecting ourselves from asteroids, identifying potentially hazardous asteroids. You know, just hand it over to the people and, and, and we'll wash our hands of it. And I say that NASA's like Hogwarts, where you got your different groups. Some are good, some are bad, some are in between, some are Hufflepuff. It's like they keep putting out these crowdsourcing, like the Grand Asteroid Challenge, you know? Like, they're like, help us help you. I don't know, maybe it's just on my end, but uh, they don't seem that interested in them. Getting involved with his grubby soilers, shall we say. Yes, so after going through all my old files, the closest one I found was 54. 54 fireballs is the record that I've seen. And I have searched around trying to find data lists to bulletproof myself and pad my ass from their spork attacks. And hey, guess what? I couldn't find anything. So I'm definitely going to say that 64 is my own personal high. Does this mean we have debris coming in? I would say not in a consistent trail because uh, the next day there was only five. I know what to say. Like, I know how many times I feel dumb. Hey, Ison. Nothing. I'm like, hey, Camelopardis. Yay. Nothing. Now I'm looking at this and it's like 64 fireballs. That is a lot. Where did they come from? Why did they all hit on June 5th? Why do we get like five or six the next day? You know, we got 64 fireballs on the 5th, all sporiatics. 
And then on the big Camellio Pardis Meteor Storm. We got like four total. Unless, of course, you count the invisible fireballs that the guys who backed the studies got in the like $10 million plane. Drinking champagne, having sex with hookers. <laughs> I made that up, dude. No way, you know. We know scientists wouldn't do that. Scientists have the highest morals and ethics in the world. Asterisk. I don't know what it means, man. I'm just saying that the whole situation confuses me. Why is everybody setting us up to fail? And do you know what the difference between a meteorite and a fireball is? Well, let me tell you, brother. Sleep deprivation is a good and legal high. It's like I'm floating on light. Or this is my dream. I love you. Do you know what I mean? Hey, if you don't shut up, I shall fireball your face. All right, I passed out last night on my keyboard, a laptop. That's okay with me. Strong work ethic equals strong person. How are you doing today? Oh, man, like a fireball, you just don't stop. Like a big balloon waiting to pop.